welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to be doing a wedding haul so this is going to be the third part of my wedding series if you haven't checked out the first two parts I will have them linked down below you should definitely do so so although my wedding is probably like still 10 months away yeah 10 months away I still have been picking up things here and there I think that's the best way to do it just shop little by little that way you don't have so so much to pay for and so many things to find right before the wedding so I do have quite a bit of things to show you so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about is this shirt that I have on it says bride because that is what I'm going to be and if you're watching this video you're probably going to be a bride soon so I have been on the hunt for um, this type of shirt so a shirt to say bride or missus or wifey or bride to be stuff like that I want to get um, kind of a bunch of these shirts because this is the appropriate time to wear these type of shirts so um, I've been looking all over they have quite a bit on Etsy but they are a bit pricey so um, I was really happy to find this one actually in Target and I think it was like ten dollars like it was it was super affordable um, and I saw it online so they do have an online option and if I could still find a link I'll link that down below um, but yeah I think it's super cute it's really nice and loose and airy and it's appropriate for this time so yeah that's my bride shirt got it from Target alright guys so this is the next thing that I want to show you and it is this big side and it says welcome to our wedding I actually picked this up from home goods it was $20 but I got it on sale for 15 um, and I think that it's just gonna be a nice touch to have just outside of the doors when the people first walk into our wedding just say hey party time so I'm really excited about this and we will have this propped up on a like tripod easel type stand thing I'm a jigger so yeah that's that all right guys so the next thing I want to show you is this and sign I actually don't know if I'm going to be keeping this and I say that because my original plan for this was to have um both my and my fiance's initials and then with this and sign in the middle so I was trying to find a c for my name and an i for his name and then the and of course um I found the and and I've seen plenty of c's but my problem is I cannot find any eyes they sell these type of lights led lights um like symbols and letters at multiple stores I've seen it at so many stores but every single store that I've seen it at I have not seen an eye like I can't find an eye so um I'm going to keep looking a little longer to try to find an eye if I can't find an eye then I don't think that I'm going to keep this I think that I'm just going to do the C and I in some other form of lettering um so I don't know but I, I don't know I don't know I got a really really good deal on this I think I only paid like eight dollars for this so I should probably just keep it just use that as some decoration. Just have a random and somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, that's that. So the next thing I have for you guys I'm really, really excited about. And it is my wedding dress hanger. I, oh, excuse me. I purchased this hanger off of Etsy. I will definitely leave the actual seller that I purchased it from. I paid about $20 for this and it was definitely customizable. So you can tell her whether you wanted a white or a wood hanger. And then you can also tell her what color bow you wanted. So I am going to be talking about our wedding colors in this video. And this is actually one of our wedding colors. So I chose to get this color bow, of course. And then you can also tell her whether you want this little heart at the end or not. I think the heart is a nice, cute little touch. So I think everybody should get the heart. Um, and then it just says my new last name, which is Dorsey. So it says Mrs. Dorsey. And I think it looks amazing. I'm so, so excited for this. This is actually Actually, like the first thing that um, I ordered offline that has actually came in so yeah that's my wedding hanger so the next thing that I got is this sign that says here comes the bride we actually are going to be having two flower girls so my daughter who will be six and then my niece who will be uh, eight I think 
is going to be holding this so my daughter is actually going to be one the one holding the basket putting out the rose petals and then i found this sign at michael's and she is going to be holding this so i think that this is super cute at first i wanted my niece to actually skip down the aisle ringing a bell saying the bride is coming the bride is coming i thought that that was super cute but once i saw this sign i actually just like this idea better because I don't want she might get shy and nervous the day of the wedding and she might not skip and say it as loud as I want her to so better safe than sorry just have her hold this sign and smile and just walk down the aisle and everything will be perfectly fine I got this from Michaels and I think I paid like mm, probably ten dollars for this but I definitely use the coupon never buy anything from Michaels without a coupon so yeah, that's that. A couple things that I'm going to show you guys are actually from the Dollar Tree. The first thing are these flowers. So our wedding colors is pretty much this and then gray and navy. So I saw these flowers in the Dollar Tree and I actually fell in love. Like I think these flowers look amazing for a dollar. So um, I picked up all they had and that's kind of my issue with these flowers is that I've been to multiple Dollar Trees and I cannot find any more of the same style of flower and the same color. So I actually spoke to the manager the other day when I was there and I asked her was there any way that I can purchase these flowers in bulk and she let me know something that I actually didn't know which is they have a DollarTree.com. Where have I been? Under a rock? I don't know. But I didn't know that. So I am going to be going on there and seeing if I can purchase these flowers in a bulk. And if I can't, I'm going to be just so, so happy because I will definitely use these flowers for my centerpieces. And just kind of going along with the centerpieces, I picked up these vases also from the Dollar Tree. And this is what they look like. They didn't like look like this when I first purchased them, of course. They were just plain glass. Um, and I just decorated the two of these. Um, I was just kind of testing them out, seeing which one I would like better. I actually like both of these, so I'm going to use both of these styles. We're going to have about like 20 tables, so I'm just going to make about 10 of these and 10 of these. Um, I just used painter's tape for both of these to just make out different designs and I just spray painted this one and then I used just regular Elmer's glue and glitter for this one. So very very inexpensive and I just want to show you guys what it would look like with the flowers inside. Alright so this is roughly what it would look like with the flowers in it. Of course I would take my time and arrange them in there so they will look a little bit more neater but um, I think that this looks really nice and in total I probably spent about seven dollars on this whole centerpiece compared to actually getting a florist seven dollars for a centerpiece that is winning so that's that one and then I'm just going to move the flowers over to the other one so you can see what it would look like in the other one and there we go so yeah these are going to be my centerpieces if i can find more flowers like this so fingers crossed you guys pray for me that they have them on the site so from the dollar tree i picked up these candlestick holders i haven't decided whether i am actually going to glue the vases on here or not um just for some added height i don't know i don't know if i'm feeling this or not um but, I mean, we shall see. So, yeah, I, I still picked up the candle holders. I may do a couple of them like this and just keep a couple of them just flat, normal. Um, but we shall see. The last thing that I picked up from the dollar store is this mug. And I actually purchased two of them, but I'm just showing you guys one. Usually, when toasts happen at wedding, people have champagne flutes and they toast with champagne. Urban and I are actually really, really big drinkers, but we don't like champagne. So it is our wedding. We're going to do what we want to do and what we like. And for that reason, I chose to get these mugs instead of champagne flutes. And I actually am going to decorate these. So I'm going to put Mrs. on mine and Mr. on his. And when we're doing toast, he and I will either be drinking beer or we'll have a mixed drink and it will be in this. So these will be sitting on the sweetheart table with us. 
and these are just like this is our personality 100% so I'm really excited about this so the next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is this chalkboard and I picked this chalkboard up from Walmart I think it was actually like 10 bucks um, and they call it a chalkboard easel because it does come with these things down here um, that you can use this to prop it up as a sign but I'm actually not going to be using this as a sign to be propped up. I'm actually going to be using this as a sign for um, one of my stepsons who is one of my ring bearers. He's going to be holding this and walking down the aisle. So like I mentioned earlier, I do have two flower girls and I also have two ring bearers. So so one of my ring bearers will actually be carrying this sign. On this sign it is going to say, don't worry ladies, I'm still single. I stole the idea off of this post that I saw on Pinterest and I'll probably insert the picture that I saw on Pinterest in here. I think it was just super, super cute and I'm excited for my stepson to carry this down the aisle and I think like everybody is gonna just be like, aww. I also got this tripod easel. I brought this tripod easel from a store called AC Moore. Um, I don't know if AC Moore is everywhere, but it's pretty much just like a Michaels. It's like Michaels twin sister. So I bought this to prop up some of the bigger signs that I have. So like that first wedding sign that I showed you guys, uh, we would use something like this to prop it up. And then I have another sign that I'm gonna be showing you guys. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and purchase another one of these um, just for the bigger signs in the wedding and like I said I got this from AC Moore and I think it was $15.99 but I did use a coupon like I said um, about Michaels never buy anything from these craft stores without coupons also from that AC Moore store I got this um, and it is pretty much just like strips of decorative lace so you can use this to decorate different things you can use this to decorate vases you use it to decorate candles or picture frames anything that you want to decorate pretty much because these are pretty much like stickers and you just stick it on cut it to the appropriate size that you need and then just stick it on whatever you're trying to stick it on so um i paid five dollars for these um i don't really know what i'm going to exactly use it for yet but uh I figure out something so that's that so the next thing that I want to talk about is my fiance's wedding bands so he is an electrician it's not really safe for him to wear like a normal stainless steel or titanium wedding band to work so of course he works Monday through Friday so every day pretty much except for the weekend he's going to be wearing a rubber band that is what's safe for like electricians and mechanics and stuff like that so i did purchase these wedding bands offline i actually bought these from ebay i actually only paid three dollars for these wedding bands and it came with three so that's like unheard of um but i want to show them to you so they came in this little cute little bag and there were three different colors so this is a navy one here's a gray one and then it's also a black one so babe i'm gonna just put my finger in the camera okay so he's going to show you the black one he's actually already wearing it and it's so cute because he's not supposed to be wearing his wedding band already but he loves me so this is the black one and you see it just fits his finger really cute and really nice you like it babe yes <laughs> <laughs> he's corny all right so yeah so that's the wedding bands and i would definitely leave that link down below in case your soon-to-be husband is in one of those like rough hands fields um and it's not safe for them to wear a normal wedding band then definitely check these out um of course i am going to be still buying him a normal wedding band for him to wear on the weekends and i do plan on spending a lot of money on that all right, so I have just two more things to show you guys. So this huge picture frame right here, you guys are probably looking at this like, what, she's hanging that up at her wedding? Like, how is that wedding related? I'm actually not keeping this the way it is. So I just purchased this for the frame and the glass. It was like a really, really huge frame and I got a super good deal on this. I actually purchased this from the thrift store. There's a like, sticker the price tag sticker over there um it was twelve dollars but it was fifty percent off 
um, that day so I only pay six dollars for this huge frame and what I want to use this for is um, right the seating for the ceremony I want to spray this whole glass with chalkboard spray paint and then I'm going to be writing on here um, another saying that I saw on Pinterest I'll insert the picture of the sign that I'm referring to um, I'm going to be writing that on here with uh, chalk and I'm going to be propping it up on another one of those tripod easels that I showed you guys. So I'm excited to be doing this. And everything that I've mentioned in this video DIY wise, I am going to be doing a DIY wedding video. Um, so, and I'm really, really excited about this video because I love like DIYing things. So everything that I mentioned that I plan on making, you guys will be along for the ride and you'll see how it turns out and how I actually went about doing the whole thing. And then the last thing is just these stickers. I am going to be doing different fonts and sizes of the phrase that I just mentioned for that frame. So um, I'm just going to be using some of these stickers. It looks like chalkboard uh, like letters. Um, so for some of the words. I'm going to be using these stickers. So yeah, and I got these for Michaels. I think they were like $3. Maybe more. I don't know. I think $3. Okay, so that wraps up my haul. You guys have seen everything. Thank you if you made it to this end of this video. You are the real MVP because I know it was a lot of stuff that I had to show. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are interested in anything that I mentioned today, um, definitely look in the description box. I will look try to find links for as many things as possible and they will be down there. And if I can't find a link, I'll just note where I actually got it from. I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.